Hello, friends. Hope you can see me okay. I think my camera might be up a bit too high. Let's see. Hmm. Might be as good as I'm going to be able to get it today. Sorry about that. I had it mounted on this box. I'm not used to the ang angle being that way. But I think we'll just have to leave it as it is simply because I want to be able to read the chat. Anyway, I'm happy to be here. I have my sewing machine today. I'm kind of crunched in a little space so that I can hopefully get to everything without being all over the place and jumping up and down. I'll do my very best. Just gonna wait a couple minutes and see if anyone else can join us. I've got some journals that I wanna show you. But when you're here and you've, if you're comfortable, please say hello. I hope we can have a nice little visit. I think I just got chocolate on there. That wouldn't be good. Okay. So we've had a beautiful weekend weather-wise. And my fingernails will probably tell the story of my gardening I started doing this weekend. Well, resumed. I had already started. So we'll just hang out a couple minutes. I'll take a sip of coffee. If you're here and you want to go grab something to drink, please do. I better peek at this book form. I think I did it the same way I always do. I think, I think. I want to start a journal from start to finish. Um, oh, yeah, this is one that I did the way I learned from Laquita at Pampered Petals. So it's 3.58 my time here in South Carolina. I'm just going to wait until 4, and then I'll get started. Feel free to jot a note in the chat if you'd like to let everyone know you're here so we can say hello and help everyone feel welcome. As a matter of fact, in my last couple minutes, I might go ahead and try to make this camera have a slightly different angle. I'm going to see if I can get a different angle on my camera a little bit lower. Sorry if I'm bumping you around too much. Be right there. I'm coming, I'm trying to get a better angle. Let's see. Anybody else with us? I'm here. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is here, but I'm here. Well, it's just now four o'clock, so we may have a few more join us. Let's see if I can make this a little better.
I don't know what bird that is, but it's telling me it is now four o'clock. The Victorian Edge, hello. Welcome, I'm glad you're here. What is your name? I have one person and one thumbs up. Hope you can hear me okay. Let me know if you can't hear me. Um, but I'm Carla from Casey Creates, and you probably already know that, but just in case. Have my sewing machine out. Of course, that makes sense, Victoria. <laughs> the Victorian Edge, I really like that name. Well, welcome. We're gonna see if anybody else can join us. I'm looking forward to our live today. I had a couple people ask if I could, um, what is that that I'm seeing over here? It, that if I could um, start a journal from start to finish. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do today. Um, and I follow a lot of you who are so much more skilled with crafting and making journals than I am that I forget we do have new people that are just learning and just getting into it and might need to know how to do um, like book forms or might like to see how someone else creates theirs. So I have um, some fabric and some felt and some lace because those are the things I typically use um, when I first start my book form. So, you know what I might do, if you guys just hold on one second, don't go away. I'm going to put a post that tells people I'm, I'm live right now, just in case some forgot. I'm just going to type it real quick. I'm live right now, if you would like to join me. I just made a little post in case anybody wants to join me. Hi, Joanne. Wonderful to see you here. Thanks for stopping in. I'm going to do the uh, book form that I learned how to do from watching Laquita over at Pampered Petals. And I'm going to leave Laquita's uh, page, I mean, YouTube channel, and a link to that video. Because I tell you, even though I had already been making my book forms, when I saw how she did hers, it just really uh, helped me get a better edge on how to do it. And it was quite easy after I tried. I'm going to try to make my iron over here without burning myself. So I have this really nice um, linen tablecloth. Is this on? And I bought a cheapo iron just for my crafting. It works and that's what counts. Oh, you did? Oh, wonderful. I can't, I just can't get enough of uh, dried flowers. I love it. And violets, of course, are my favorite. So <laughs> that's sweet. Okay, where did I just put the scissors? You know, I forget it's Easter in Greece. Maybe other people are celebrating Easter this week. Of course, here in the US, we celebrated last week. I hope everyone had a nice Easter. Excuse me. So for those that can join me, it's wonderful. And if you can't, I'll just have this video up um, and hopefully they can watch it later. If you do stop by later to watch this and um, you didn't make it for the live, but you're watching it on a different time, I would love if you just leave me a comment and let me know you watched and tell me what you thought. Um, 
So um, right now, I do not, I hope this doesn't drive anyone crazy, but I do not make precise measurements. I kind of eyeball things, but this journal, because I'm gonna do it on camera from start to finish, um, I'm gonna make it on a slightly smaller scale and it's gonna be about five by seven, maybe a little bit. Um, oh yes, it is Easter in Ukraine. Oh, that's gonna be so, so difficult for them today but maybe the day's just about over now, I do believe. I haven't watched any news today. I feel like I've been in and out all day, but it was a good day. So this is, uh, these pages I'm making are gonna be fabric, but I am gonna incorporate fabric and lace. I don't see Joan today. I know she was gonna, she was also interested in um, fabric and lace. Uh, I'm interested in me making a journal. I was gonna show you, where did I put that? I don't know why I say where did I put that? Everything is right here. So a friend of mine gifted me this beautiful linen tablecloth and the, um, the label even looks kind of vintage to me. I don't know if that brand, um, you know, means anything to any of you guys, but it's made out of this beautiful, I guess it's linen, maybe linen rayon mix. It says M, is it an MM's company, novelty cloth? And I just cut off some of the fabric um, that is uh, plain and doesn't have any of the blue or yellow border. And what I'm gonna do is make the outside cover this pretty lace and it's like a corded lace and it's from a table mat. And then I'm going to double the the uh, lining fabric inside and out. And the pages won't be exactly the same size because I'm gonna stitch um, around it. I also wanna show you how you can do this with just glue if you don't sew. When I first watched the tutorial on how to do the book form, um, my sewing machine wasn't working. So I went ahead and used the gluing method. I'm trimming this down just a little bit shorter. So I've been keeping busy with my, getting my container garden set up outside and then work and this week my son had spring break and we didn't really go anywhere, you know, per se, but we did a few little staycation things, which was really fun. He's got a great interest in the Asian culture. So we took him to the Asian grocery store. It was called the yeah, Asian market. And he picked out some things that he wanted to cook because he takes Japanese. He's quite good at it. I'm surprised I would never be able to make the progress he's made. But it seems there's a lot of kids that really like the Asian culture and a lot of it has to do with, well, with the boys I know, a lot of it has to do with the um, gaming that they do. A lot of those games are developed over there. Well, I'm growing a vegetable garden, but I'm only growing what I think my family would eat. And so it's exciting because I'm doing yellow squash, tomatoes, onions, and for me, the most exciting part are potatoes, because I've never grown potatoes. Um, excuse me, I need a drink of my coffee. My throat is so tickly. <coughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, so I'm growing potatoes and sweet potatoes, 
well, white potatoes, sweet potatoes, yellow squash, onions, and tomatoes, because those are all things you could, you know, make a decent hearty meal with. And then I have a cucumber plant growing. What? Oh, and herbs. I love to grow fresh herbs. Yeah, so I'm excited because I've never done the potatoes, sweet potatoes or Irish potatoes. So, um, and then on Mother's Day, the week of Mother's Day here, which is the second week in May, I'm going to plant flowers. I'm not really good at flowers, but I love them. And I have some pansies. I'm told my pansies probably won't survive through the heat of the summer. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm going to try it. And then I'm going to, I already have some marigolds because I was told they help keep insects away from your vegetable garden. So I'm going to do some marigolds. Excuse me. Okay. So, oh, my chat just disappeared. I hope it, oh, there it goes. I thought it went away, but it's back. Okay. So I have my, let me put this under here so hopefully you can see a little better. So I have my two layers of fabric, my lace, which is going to be on the outside. And now I have to make a spine. And the way I'm going to put the spine is I'm going to find the center of my two pieces of fabric. Let me move it a little closer. Is it a winter one? Okay, well, that's why they don't make it through the summer, but I, they're just gorgeous. I've seen some beautiful photos of pansies breaking through the snow, and it's just such a, con, you know, contrast of a fresh, beautiful, colorful flower, you know, thriving in the cold of the snow. So that's probably why they told me they won't make it through the heat of the summer. They like it cold. <laughs> Okay, so then I'm going to take my spine, and this is, in, I think I measured this to be about one and five eighths, and oh, yes, that's true. My brother is a gourmet, and he does a lot of farm-to-table cooking. Yeah, this is one, oh, about one and a half, a little over one and a half by seven, and he sugars the pansies and puts them on cupcakes and um, I've never tasted one though. I'm sure it probably just tastes like salad, <laughs> maybe flowery. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to find center and I, and I'm okay with it not coming all the way from the top to the bottom because I want it to, um, be a little more flexible. So right now I'm just going to glue it down and then I'm going to stitch around it. Yeah, do you guys know any uh, insect control tips for gardens? I am such a bugophobe, even though I know it's their habitat, it's their life, it's where they live. Hey, Angie, yay, I'm so glad you could make it. We are here, I'm doing my little attempt at making a book form for a paper and lace journal. And right now I'm putting in a cardboard uh, spine and I'm just getting it as centered as possible and apologizing because I'm not a good um, measurer. I don't measure as accurately as I should. Um, you know what, I'm gonna iron this because I wanna fold it the other way. I did manage to get a new iron just for crafting. I'm excited about that. I think about you guys during the week and I'm always hoping I'll get to see you here. Um, I'm, I wasn't able to do last week, of course, it was Easter here. We had such a nice Easter. We all went to church together for the first time, I don't even know, in person. Um, I mean, we've been back once since the pandemic lightened up but not our entire family so my boys came to neem oil okay it's more organic that's good 
I break out the seven dust because I want to eat. I'm planning marigolds in this alyssum. Is that how you say it? Did I say that right? Alyssum? I just saw some of that seven today at the store. I should have gotten that. I used to help take care of the plants in the office buildings. That was one of my jobs while I was in college. And um, they used something called safer soap. And that helped with like powdery mildew and dust mites and not dust. Is that what they call them? mites? I don't know if they're dust mites, but they're mites. So right now I'm just ironing. Um, my fabric to kind of get the shape of where my spine is because I want to stitch around that. And this isn't going to be the exact even <coughs> rectangle, but it'll be fine because I'm going to put lace and things on the edges of my pages. Alyssa, okay. Oh, and aphids, yes. I've heard of those. Not a fan of any of them. <laughs> okay, so I have my spine. And you guys, I'm going to stitch with black thread so that you can see where I'm stitching. And it won't be a problem on the actual journal because it's going to have all kinds of lace trim on it. Make sure I'm not on zigzag. Oh, I don't want zigzag. Hold on one second. Okay. I want straight stitch. So I'm just going to stitch my spine into place. I lightly glued it so that it would um, not move while I'm stitching. Okay. So one side. I'm always a little intimidated to sew because I, I just know you guys are such seamstresses, especially Angie. She can sew anything. She sewed all of her children's, well, I wouldn't say all of them, but I just remember her giving, um, you know, telling us about how one of her jobs involved sewing uniforms and she sewed all kinds of stuff for her kids, including suits, which I can't even imagine. Um, but we did this fun, um, what do they call them? A tag where everyone kind of went around and did a video talking, answering certain questions about their life. Oh, I loved those. Cause I like, maybe I'm just nosy, but I love hearing about people's lives. Um, and it really helps us realize how much we have in common, you know? So that's why I'm glad we can meet here on Sundays. And forgive me if I jump all around conversation wise, I just kind of like that sometimes. If there's anything you want to chat about, just interrupt me. I'll read it in the chat. Oh, it's a gnat. No gnats allowed. Okay, so this is the spine and I just stitched it into place. Um, and then I probably should have done my felt first, you guys. So forgive me as I'm winging it. And then people who can sew by hand, that's even more. I mean, there's people who do both, but stitching things, they call it slow stitching, I guess. That is even more fascinating to me. And I'm very much a fan of people who can do needlework. So what I'm going to do is because I forgot to do the whole um, sheet, I don't want to bore you by picking all the stitches out. So I'm just going to do half a sheet on each one. Hey, Shaz. Welcome. Hi, Debbie. Thanks for stopping by. I'm so glad you guys are here. I hope we can make it a regular meetup. 
like I said, last week was Easter, so we had a wonderful family time. Um, but I missed everyone, and I did a short video on, uh, I don't even remember what I did it on now, just to feel like I could, you know, communicate a little bit, even though we didn't get to go live. Um, but thanks for coming, you all. I am making that book form that I was saying I was going to do um, as an attempt to do a journal from start to finish. So this week, it's the book form. And next week, I'm hoping to cover the pages with uh, lace and doilies and just do some cover the pages. Today, I'll just put the pages in. So if this is too convoluted or going a little too fast for now, and you have the patience for it, you can always rewatch the video. If this is something that you're not um, comfortable with, but from the people that I see here on the chat, I have a feeling you all know how to do this fairly well already. I'm going to stitch. I'm, I'm using black thread, I was telling them, because I want you to be able to see. And right now, I'm just sewing the felt in between the pages. And I was letting everyone know, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can easily do this with glue. Because I had to use glue when I first started making book forms. Yeah, I did. Oh, I did. I did a video on making washi tape. That was really fun to make. Joanne, you're so sweet to watch my videos and actually remember them. That's sweet. Okay, I'm almost done. Hope this noise isn't driving anyone crazy. Okay, so I just stitched basically my cover. Um, I don't always layer everything and then stitch it because my fabric slides around and then it's not even. So I have this really pretty lace that's going to be on the, the cover. It's going to just cover it. It'll probably get covered up again, though, once I start embellishing it. Oh, good. I'm glad this is helpful for you, Joanne, because so what I'm going to do is just put my lace on the front and the back, but I'm going to tack it down a little bit with some glue because I find when I stitch it, um, it it's buckles and I don't like that. Um, and I'm not going to stitch it on right now because I am going to change the color thread once I attach this, but I will put it on enough for you to get the idea. And the la and the next step is putting in the pages and it's really simple. So I don't know, what has everyone been crafting lately? Joanne's been uh, outside picking clover and pansies and pressing flowers, which from my previous videos, you'll know that's one of my favorite things is I love to press flowers and decorate with them. Yeah, you guys, if you haven't been to Shaz's channel in a while, she's got a lot of videos of her cards that she makes, and they're beautiful. Angie and Shaz make gorgeous, gorgeous cards. Um, very good paper crafters they are. Shaz, you're a really good measurer. I, I always take my hat off to how you can put boxes together and things like that. Okay, so here's the spine. And you can see it's got the stiffness from the cardboard. And then this is going to be the front and the back 
initial covering, but there'll be other embellishments. It'll be fun to kind of watch this come together, I think. So this is going to be the inside. And what you do is you cut your pages. Well, let me just get started. I have two different kinds of felt. Um, but I'm going to line my my um, pages with felt. Am I? Let me think about that. Hmm. You could put um, felt in between each one. Let me just try it. Let's see. You guys, thanks for hanging in there while I kind of wing it. Anyway, I got this huge bundle of felt a while back. Um, I don't want to make the pages too thick because I am going to be layering them with um, lace. So you know what? I think I'll just go back to the fabric I was using. And for those of you who just joined me, I have this tablecloth that is a really old vintage tablecloth. And I'm using it as the pages. And you know what? I think just doubling this is going to make the pages thick enough because I'm going to be adding other laces and trims. And I, one of the things I like the least about journal making is when it turns into that alligator mouth. Oh, you're very welcome, Chaz. It's very true. I hope people check it out. You doing okay, Chaz? How about hubby? Any updates? Let's see if I can get this measured. If you feel like sharing, you may not feel like sharing. I want everyone to just be comfortable, get something to drink and visit, and chat about whatever you want. Okay. So like I said, I'm not one that measures precisely and I hope that doesn't bother anyone. But this one's gonna be about five by seven because I want it to, um, I want it to be small enough to fit in the frame when I, when I go to uh, do it on camera. Oops. Okay, it's got this really pretty stitched scalloped edge. And I would say I'll save it, but I probably won't. I've got a whole bunch more of it. That's how I get myself in trouble. I saved, well, I used to. I saved, I used to save too many scraps. And I have to be okay with knowing that it's okay to throw some of them away. You don't have to save everything or you'll end up in a big old, you know, dump site of stuff. And then I don't know about you, but if stuff is too cluttered, I can't work. I mean, I do work among some clutter, but <clears throat> when it's bad, I can't have to clean it all up first. Okay, so I have my front and my back, and now I'm going to show you how I put the pages in. And let me see something really quick. Still doing the little eyeballing thing here. Okay, now that won't be long enough. So I am going to do them like this. And like this. And I'm sorry if it's a little confusing, but it'll make sense here in just a minute. I'm cutting the individual pages right now. So I have two. I want to do two more. Let 
these will be sort of an eyeballed one, and then I'll measure the other two to fit these a little bit narrower. And then I'm going to open up one of my journals that I've already finished, and it'll look, it'll make more sense if I show you one that's already finished. So these are going to fit there. Okay. I spent time today at the grocery store. <laughs> You're driving your family nuts. You know, it is. it can get a little overwhelming. And I always feel guilty because I'm like always saying, you guys, we have to clean up. And then they're looking at me like, well, it's your stuff. <laughs> and they're usually right. All right. Okay, that's going to work just fine. So there's two, and I need two more. I mean, I'm just going to do two more on camera, but I think that'll be enough for everybody to get the gist of it. Oh, you got to go? Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I, it's just special that you were able to stop by. And I'm sorry you can't hang out with us, but please come back next week and... Um, I'll be saying prayers for um, Glenn and you too. It's been a rough time, I know. So hang in there, sweet friend. Come back when you can. Let us know how it goes. Okay, so I'm almost finished. Can you do this one? Oops. That wasn't very straight. Well, I hope you guys are visiting with me more because we just enjoy getting together than you are because you want um, a tutorial because I'm thinking this isn't my strong suit, <laughs> but I do love visiting with friends. Okay, so one, let's see, make sure this is just two. One, two, one, two. I want, I'm doubling the fabric, that's what I'm counting. Okay, one more, and then we'll do the rest together. Yeah, that's... It's got to be heavy on your heart when you know there's surgery. I'm glad you think this is fun. I wish you guys were really here. But this is the next best thing to having you right here. You know, I'm, I just love getting together with friends. And I have to say, I don't do it much at all anymore. My sister and I used to come up with all kinds of reasons to have little get-togethers with people. We still do, but it's a lot more family-oriented now. Okay, I'm going to steam this a little bit here. And I'll show you. Like So most of the time, I would put a piece of felt in between and then stitch them together to get a thicker page. But because um, I want to add doilies and lace and things, I'm going to just leave the two pieces of fabric. I'm going to stitch around the edges of them. Um, and again, I'll stitch around a few and I'll glue a few. Oops. And some people put cardstock in between their pages, like a lightweight cardstock. We call it tag board. Has anybody ever called it tag board? I remember calling it that in elementary school. Lost 
my stitch. Hold on one second. Okay. So I can slide this in a little better for you to see. Here we go. So I'll stitch two and I'll glue two. This fabric feels really good. It's like a nice quality. I couldn't find the tag on it that says what it's made out of, but it looks like a rayon cotton blend. I don't know. It's very nice. All right, let's stitch one more. This is just a real straightforward, easy machine, no fanciness. It is supposed to make like 13 different stitches, but I have to be honest, I haven't bothered with looking at the instructions. Because <laughs> I just like knowing I have a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch. Glad you're here. We just missed Shaz, but we're all just enduring me stitching. Uh-oh, I think somebody just got here, which means it might get noisy in a minute. I'm hoping not. Um, hey, guys. I'm on video. Shh. It's my boys coming in. Okay, so these are the two that I stitched, and again, I'm just using black thread so you can see. And all my lace trim will cover that up anyway. Um, and then I'll do a couple with glue because I want you to know how simple it is to just glue these together and into the journal. And I was, I have my hot glue, but um, when I was looking through my journals that I've made a while ago, Somebody said that it gets brittle, and it actually does. And it's not terrible, um, but Fabri-Tac doesn't do that. So I'm going to just use Fabri-Tac because it seems to stay nice and flexible even a couple years after the fact. So I have this one glued now. The only thing that I try to avoid is if I use Fabri-Tac, then I try not to go back over with stitching because I'm always afraid it's going to gum up my needle or gum up something in the mechanisms of my machine. And since it's a fairly new machine, I'm thinking I want to avoid damaging it. Um, I do the stitching primarily just because I really like the look of the stitching and it keeps everything so flexible. But like I said, with Fabri-Tac, it seems to still stay nice and flexible. Um, are you guys gonna, are you gonna take him, Evan? Yeah. Okay. All right, see you later. Sorry, guys. You just have to be right here in my living room with me. I'm not really in the living room. I'm in the little kitchenette area because that's where it seems to get the better reception. I'd rather be in my room. Yeah, don't you love the stitching? Mary stitches on her cards and tags and journals, and she has beautiful stitching, and it's so pretty. Okay, so again, this is the, the cover that's just real basic right now, just the lace. Um, and then the spine is cardboard. And then all you do is put a little bit of glue on the edge. And again, I learned this from Laquita, works wonderful. Um, I just said the thing about hot glue, so I'm not gonna use hot glue. I'm gonna use my Fabri-Tac, whoops. 
I think I'm going to use my fabric tack. You guys, why did it, where'd it go? Can you see it in the camera? And I can't, have you ever done that where you can, you can see um, what the person is looking for in the camera, but they can't see it. And they're like, where did it go? Where did it go? And you can't holler and tell them where it is. You guys, do you see my bottle of Fabri-Tac? Seriously. Like, what did I just do with it? Oh, there it is. On the other side of the sewing machine. All right. So then you just take a little bit of glue right along the edge, about a quarter of an inch in. Oh, you probably can't see that glue. Um, and then you just lay it right along the spine, not down the spine. And you stack them. So I'm going to put one there. These are the glued ones, so you can't see the stitching, but I'll do a couple. This one has a little bit of a ragged edge, so we'll put this one on the inside. Oops, a little more. And then this one along the edge. And we'll do one more. And there'll be four pages. I'll do a few more um, off camera. And then next week, we'll come back and do the lace doilies and trims to cover the pages. And that's when it starts getting fun. I love the embellishing part. It was forever before I would attempt a journal because I could not get a handle on a book form that I really enjoyed making. Oh, you got to go too? Oh, wonderful. Is he just in for a visit? Bye though. Thank you for coming. Okay. So there are my pages for this one. And what's going to happen is there's going to be this gully in the middle. Um, and I typically will put like some lace there, but if you want to see really quick, I'll show you on this huge journal. It's the one I call my lap journal. Um, let me turn it the other way. I'll move my sewing machine. And I'll turn it. Hopefully you can see. Um, so this is it. And this is, where's the center? This is the middle. So there's this gully down the middle, and I did exactly what I did on these. I just layered the pages, then I covered them with, um, Ethan, will you do me a favor? Will you go grab my cord for my computer? Because I'm afraid this is going to die. That would be a very rude ending to my video. <laughs> So anyway, this is one of my favorite journals. I haven't parted with it yet. It's called a lap journal because it's large and can fit in your lap. And I did do a video on this one, but I wanted to show you how it is finished. Hey, bud, plug it on that side. You okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. See? You guys. Hope here, Evan, Ethan, plug this in for me. No, never mind. Sorry, you guys. Welcome to my madhouse. I need to plug this in or I'm going to lose you guys and that would make me very sad. Okay, I'm plugged in. Um, so this is just an example of how I was able to layer all the pages with other fabrics and laces and trims. But the actual bones of the journal, for lack of a better word. See the little banner there? Uh, started out just like I just did. And then, so I layered some pages on the right and some on the left, and then um, that embellished them. And like I said, I have a video of this one. It was called a lap lace journal. Um, and I even put some, um, Hi, Joan. Joan, so glad you're here. I did the little um, lace journal uh, book form. And now I'm just showing my large lap journal that was, the book form was created the same way I'm creating the one for today. 
So all I did was use a rectangle of fabric that was about 14 by, by eight. Uh, I put, I uh, put a cardboard spine in between and stitched around it. And I stitched it in black so that you could see where the stitching is. Um, and then I've layered the pages that are now ready to be embellished. Oops, yeah, so there's two on this side. Oh, that one's a little stuck. What did I do? Okay, well, once the glue dries, it'll be okay. Um, and then I've got two pages on this side, but I'm gonna put three and three, so there will be several pages front and back. And this gully is where the spine is, but it's going to allow my journal to not have an alligator mouth. Once it's filled up, it'll be nice and roomy. And so I, I was showing you that one. And then this one is a little bit smaller. So maybe I can get this one in frame. And I've done a video on this one too. This was one that I created. I think I caught my favorite things. Um, and it's just lavished with lots of lace. Um, and I think this one was made the same way because once I learned the way Laquita did it, I just kept doing them that way. So this one again has the spine right down the middle. And then I layered my pages, just stitched them in, but you can glue them if you don't have an ability to stitch them in. And then I embellished them. So hopefully we can do this together. Um, and I don't know if you guys have different themes. I might even do a different themed pages, and make it kind of eclectic. This page, I think I called this one my favorite things because it's got um, a variety of styles, but mostly women of leisure just reading or stitching or doing something uh, relaxing. Oh, it's okay. I'm sorry you weren't able to join us in the beginning, but um, hopefully you can watch and it won't be too, you know, crazy of an explanation, but feel free to ask me any questions you might have. These are a fun little fabric. This is a fun little fabric covered notebook under a belly band. Thank you, I'm glad. And then this is a lady with a pretty hat and lots of lace trim. This one was just all shabby chic. I just had a lot of fun with the pinks and the pearls and the beads and the trim. And I love this one. It reminds me of a lady maybe in Tuscany somewhere. She's got a basket of flowers. Um, and then another little notebook. So I put lots of spaces in here for journaling. It says, and the secret garden bloomed and bloomed and every morning revealed new miracles. So that tucks in there. I think I have a video of this one. If you're interested, you can go on my channel and check it out. This one is just a pocket loaded with all kinds of journaling cards and tags. So my son ended his last day of spring break with my older son taking him to this little store called Pucker Butt. <laughs> and all they sell are super flaming hot different sauces. And he wanted to go pick one out because he's been watching these challenges on YouTube where people are eating these super hot things and trying to tolerate it. I don't know. It's kind of weird to me, but that's those darn kids for you. <laughs> and so that's pretty too. It's just the bust of a woman holding a basket of flowers. I thought that was pretty. And then this one, who wouldn't want to be there? She's just cozy, laying under a tree, reading a book. And I just picked up the blues from her dress and put them all around on the page. So that's it. And then there's a few tags in here. I haven't been able to put this one on my Etsy shop yet. 
Maybe it's a little vain of me, but I just really, really like this one. So it's hard to part with it. But you do put a lot of heart and soul into your creations. And so when you get to decide whether you want to get rid of them or not. Not get rid of them, but share them. It is quite flattering, though, when people want them. But I've used all kinds of laces and trims. And so that's what I plan to do next week is gather up doilies and laces and trims and start embellishing the actual pages. This is a really pretty velvet button. Um, so I thought I would show you those. And I was going to show you one more thing. What was I going to show you? Oh, I know. Oh, so I had this. Some of you are maybe in my age range. Some may be younger. I don't know. But my sister and I, um, we're products of the late 70s and 80s, and not born, but just memory-wise, and some of the retro stuff that we used to use in the way of cosmetics, I don't know why it just kind of dawned on me um, that I wanted to do some of those fun um, cosmetics and give them to my sister from a Mother's Day gift. So you guys remember uh, Bonnie Bell Lip Smackers? They're like... They were those big, thick uh, lip glosses, and they smell, I don't know, they might even taste like the actual flavor, but I went online and I found them. They're not the same. They're not even called Bonnie Bell. They're called something else, but they are lip smackers, and they have the craziest flavors. So I'm going to give her half of the pack of these, like there's Kiwi, and there's, thank you, Debbie. Um, oatmeal cookie, strawberry, tropical punch, cotton candy, and I don't know if I can reach if I can reach the other ones. I'm telling you this for a reason, but um, there's watermelon, mango, like glue everywhere, vanilla, which she nor I will probably like that one. Blue Raspberry, which she nor I will probably like that one. And Pina Colada, which we would both probably like that one and probably fight over it. <laughs> so I'm going to bundle those up. Then I found this, Gina Tay. And, you know, it just reminds me of being in middle school and high school and that smell. Um, so I wanted to kind of do a little retro gift for her. And then this one loves baby soft. Do you remember that? I don't even think I liked the smell, but we used to run around singing the commercial all the time. And so I made her a powder puff box because I'm showing you this all to say that a few weeks ago, I made the fabric flowers on video a couple weeks ago. And so I used them on this little powder puff altered box that I made for her. And all I did was um, I made a little tray for the puff to sit in. And then I lined the box with satin and lace and the powder will go in there. I couldn't use the powder from back when we were in middle school because it has talc in it and I just didn't want to buy that. So I bought a talc free flat powder to go in here and I know she likes the scent. And then I just made a little cardboard tray that fits down in here. And then purchased a little double pack of the puffs to sit in there. So I'm going to package it up real pretty, and I won't be able to wait until Mother's Day, which is about two and a half weeks away. Um, so I'm sure I'll end up packaging it up and giving it to her, and then she has the option of opening it later. But um, I just thought I'd show you my little uh, fun gift that I packaged up for my sister. So I think that's all I have for you today. We're going to do a journal step-by-step, uh, step. and today's process was just doing the book form, and I'll just flip through it with you real quick. So there's page one, page two, 
the gully, which will have a few more pages. Um, and the pages look kind of narrow now, but like I said, I add lace trim and that widens the page out a little bit more. So it'll be fun. We'll put doilies and pockets and we'll do flower pages and fabric images and of course a little bit of bling. Um, and again, I'll take the week to think about themes, uh, but for now let's just have fun chatting and embellishing. And I'll usually try to go about an hour. Um, you know, sometimes we may go a little bit longer just because we're having such a good time. But since um, I got my book form done and so several have probably had to run, I think I'll say, hey, bye, guys. See you later. Um, we'll, we'll meet back here between three and four next week. And I'll try to do a little shout out video to let you know um, either the day before or a few hours before for those of you that might need a little prompting. But it is very special to me that you choose to come spend your afternoon with me. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. Sorry. I value all of you and your crafting skills have inspired me so much over the years. So just that you would come and check out whatever it is I might be doing is special. And um, yeah, I have really done a, a well in my Etsy shop. I've sold so many journals that I think I only have three things left in my shop. So I may get on a roll with some journals so that I can put a few in my Etsy shop as well. So this is motivation for me to get busy again. But you are all very welcome and thank you. Thanks for joining me. Um, I'll keep you all in my thoughts and prayers throughout the week. And I'll look forward to visiting with you again soon. I'll let everybody they have a minute to say goodbye, but um, I'll say goodbye for now. Have a good night.